Hello, it is Spoken Word Sunday. I need to start by saying that uh, this piece has a trigger warning um, related to self-harm and cutting. Um, so please exercise self-care um, before you watch this video or if you need to not watch this video, um, do what you gotta do for you. This is confession from a reformed cutter in the middle of a panic attack. <clears throat> in this moment, everything looks sharp. I can see each stainless glint and glimmer lit like I'm in some video game lit like these things are important lit like i need to add them to my inventory hide them in my pocket i am supposed to be preparing dinner and these vegetables won't chop themselves but i am afraid to sit in my kitchen in this house in this quiet i think i can hear the steel singing i suggest a walk to myself to the fresh blue air, to where the sharp things are not. But even my fingernails are a threat, and I can't cut them with tiny metal jaws. I can't trim them any lower, any closer, or else my fingertips will bleed. And isn't that the point? Isn't that the end result? Isn't that what I'm trying to avoid? Avoidance is key, and these keys are sharp too. I can avoid you all day, but even the words you use are sharp, and that's how I got here in the first place. Even the tears sting my eyes. Little pinpricks, little knives. When you admit to unraveling, it seems that everyone considers two options. The first is to pick up the loose ends and wrap them securely, hands and arms bound so that maybe you are less of a danger. The second is a noose. When you admit to unraveling, those loose ends themselves become a third option, a tightrope, and I have terrible balance. When you need me, I drop everything to run to you to be there. When I need, I am the thing that is dropped and the running this time is away.